Now that we've got our home page wireframed, we actually want to do wireframes for the major category pages for the rest of the site. You don't have to do a wireframe for every page if multiple pages are going to have the same format. I have three different formats I'm going to have for this website. I have the front page, I will have travel pages for England, Ireland, the United States, and Canada. They'll all have the same format, so I just need to wireframe one of them. And then I'll have the travel tips page. So that will get a separate one. Up at the top where you have layers, you want to go over and click on pages. And we're going to make a copy of that initial page. And we're going to name one copy master page. And we're going to have another one that we will name index. And the whole point to this is that the master page is going to contain the elements of the design that will repeat on every single page. And we want to delete the elements that are going to change. So I'm going to select the master page and I'm going to ask myself in each item, will this exist on every page? Yes, it will. The whole header is going to stay the same on every page. The whole sidebar is going to stay the same on every page. Footer is going to stay the same on every page. What's going to change is the content here. So I'm going to delete this content. And then the rest of it's going to stay put. I'm going to then on my index page, I'm going to delete everything that belongs on the master page. So to do that, I'm going to have to go into my layers. I'm going to have to make sure everything is unlocked because I'm going to be deleting some of these things. And so I don't need this background. In fact, I can just delete the background, delete the container, delete the header, delete the sidebar, delete the main content block, delete the footer, delete the text field, delete the button, delete the travels with Seamus text, delete the logo, and delete the links. That can stay, that can stay, that's the footer text. Okay, so what's left is just the content from my index page. So I'm going to go back to pages and I'm going to set this as the master page, right click on it. Now when I go to index, everything from the master page shows through. And if I look at the layers, You'll see the master page is at the bottom layer and it's locked. You can't change anything on the master page. All we can change is this content right here. Now I can create a new page. And it has all of the content from the master content. So this is just going to become England. And so when I'm adding content here, I will typically have at least a heading level 2 and I actually would probably set the font size on that larger. This is zoomed in so it's not at a hundred percent but I think we'd want to set that to about a size of 24 and we'd like to set the text value to England. Again at this point we don't get into colors or anything and then I might 
move it over here. And this is going with our standard HTML layout where you would have a heading one or heading two at the top of the page to identify what it is. Now I'm going to use my document library and I'm going to have we'll say that we're going to have a large image here and we'll say that we want to set it to a width of 400 and a height of 300. And I'm going to center it on the page. And then we have a few different ways we could do this. We could have Typically, I like to have just large arrows pointing in either direction. So I would simply draw an arrow here, and then I'm going to select the whole thing. And I'm going to set the line width to 8. And then I'm going to copy and paste. And then I'm going to take it over here, line it up and spin it around. And that'll indicate that it's going to go from picture to picture. They could click on either one and see the next picture. Now optionally, you could either put text under here or you could put lists of other pictures. What I'd like to have here is a caption about each image. And so that would be how I would set up my pages for each um, country. It would be a slideshow that you could click forward or back and have a caption under each. So let's say we want to have one more page. And this one would be travel tips. This one I would probably have heading 2, which I'll set to the same size that I did before, 24, and this one would probably be planning. And I can copy this a couple times, hit the Alt key, hit the arrow key, drag it down, hit the Alt key, hit the arrow key, hit the Alt key, hit the arrow key. I now have four of them. And the next one would not be planning, it would be packing. Then the travel day. and then jet lag. And those are some of the topics we could cover under tips. And then each one would probably have some text underneath it. The other option I could do here if I didn't want to do a paragraph 
I want to make this wider. I'm going to make it 450. If I didn't want to do this, I could do create a symbol for a bulleted list, which might be appropriate here. But for this case, I'm going to leave the paragraph symbol. And I've made copies of that as well. Because it gives me the idea that I would have headings and text. And we can play with placements till we're happy with them. And you see you get guidelines to make sure that things are lining up where you'd like. And there we go. So I now have multiple pages. And if I were to send this to somebody, first I would save. And then I would print. And when you print this, you have the option I'm on a Mac, but you should have an option on the PC as well to save it as a PDF. 